All right, it is bitter cold out there. No one wants to be on the streets. And one local shelter right now beyond capacity as it tries to get the area's homeless population out of the freezing cold. Jenna Johnson is live at the City Mission of Schenectady with more on what you can actually do to help and what's going on there right now. Hi, Jenna. Hey, Greg, good morning to you. They are uh, beyond capacity, as you can imagine. Tonight and the next few nights are going to be beyond capacity as well. You can see the line of coats behind me, but they need so much more. They've already served about a thousand people with coats. I'm here now with the executive director, and Michael, thanks so much for joining us. And what do you really need right now? I think right now winter gear is the greatest need. So we need coats. We particularly need adult coats. Um, we get a lot of coats for children. That's wonderful. Um, it's a privilege to spread those out, but we have a lot of adults coming to us, and winter is hard and long, and the need is great right now. Okay, and you talked about, you know, and up until March, we're going to need coats here. You need adult extra larges, uh, even plus size coats, too. We do. There's, there's a surge of coat giving kind of in late fall and the holidays, and that's wonderful. But winter goes on. We're experiencing today, a month after Christmas, how cold it is, and it gets cold right up through March. So the need continues. Okay, are you seeing anything different from this time last year, or is it kind of the same trend as you're going? Unfortunately, that trend increases. It seems each year more people are coming for meals, more people are coming for coats, more people are coming for shelters. Although when the weather is this severe, it's kind of just, it's always been extreme, and we're seeing this week just some great need. Okay, and you know one thing earlier that really surprised me, you're serving about 500 people a day we for meals. 500 meals a day. For people, we're also distributing food out into the community because we're realizing there's people who are hungry, Jenna, who can't make it to the mission. And so we're now coming up with ways to get food out into the community, particularly to children and families. Okay, thank you so much, Michael. And Greg, in the next half hour, we're, they have two new programs that we're going to talk to you about, and we're going to meet someone of the 30 volunteers that were once homeless, and now they are back on their feet, and they are inspiring people here every day and giving people a message of courage and hope, and that's really... As Michael said, it's really more important than giving them just a code. They're also giving them a message of hope. We're live here in Schenectady. Jenna Johnson, CBS 6 News.